my fellow viewers, uh, welcome to Mr. Wanyoike, the digital learning platform. In front of you is Mr. Wanyoike, a mathematics teacher. We are on probability. Uh, we are continuing with probability and uh, this happens to be our second lesson as far as our probability is concerned. We are go we're going to look on a question here. Uh, you are given that two integers are selected uh, at random for, from integers 1 to 8. Uh, if the same integers may be selected twice, find the probability that abs um, the, the, uh, absolute of x minus y, that is x minus y absolute, uh, is equal to 2. The probability of uh, x uh, minus y uh, absolute is equal to 2. And also the probability of x minus y absolute is 5 or more. And finally, x is greater than uh, 5. The probability that x is always greater than 5. And therefore, uh, I'm going to use a pure net square here. I'm going to use a pure net square. And I'm going to come up with 1 pure net square here. And... Um, I am supposed to divide this, yeah, so that I can have seven columns, one, two, three, four, I have another one, and the last one. So I, I will be expected to do the same to the other, and as far as this one is concerned, I will be having x here and y there, and this is one, uh, I can use a different pen. Uh, so that I can uh, uh, distinguish between the results and the die. So I have uh, integers, I mean. Uh, I have uh, integer 1, uh, running from 1 to 8, sorry. It was supposed to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so it should be divided uh, further. I should divide so that I can get 8. I can get 8 because there are 8 integers. 8 integers. So... I have 1, 2, 3, 4, I have 5, I have 5, I have 6, I have 7, and the last one, that is 8. Uh, the same case applies to the other one. Have 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number seven and lastly number eight that is one uh, i should use a different pen should use a different pen i have uh uh two i have uh, uh two three four five six seven eight and for the results i'm going to use the black for the results i should use the black and therefore i can have uh, 1 minus 1, I get a 0. 1 minus 2, minus 1. Uh, 1 minus 3, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. Because 1 minus 8, you will get negative 7. And therefore, uh, 2 minus 1, you will get a 1. 2 minus 2, 0. 2 minus 3, you will get a minus 1. 2 minus 4, you will get minus 2. Uh, you decrease the numbers in steps of 1, that is minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. 3 minus 1, you'll get 2. Uh, 3 minus 2, you'll get 1. 3 minus 3, you'll get a 0. You reduce in steps of 1. In steps of 1, you reduce them like that. Then what about 4 minus 1? You'll get a 3. Uh, you reduce in step of 1 to... 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Uh, what about 5 minus 1? You get 4. Then you reduce in step of 1. 3, 2, uh, 1. Uh, you have a 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative uh, 3. What about 6 minus 1? You will get a 5. 6 minus 2, you will get a 4. 6 minus 3, you will get a 3. You reduce in steps of 1 in steps of 1 until you get the last one. Then 7 minus 1, you'll get a 6. 7 minus 2, you'll get a 5. 7 minus 3, you'll get a, a 4. 7 minus 4, you'll get a 3. 7 minus 5, you'll get a 2. You reduce in steps of 1 until you get the last one. Then 8, you reduce by 1, you'll get a 7. 8 minus 2, you'll get a 6. 8 minus 3, you'll get a 5. You reduce in steps of 1 
in steps of one until you get to zero. And therefore, as far as uh, this punnet square is concerned, it's the one which will help be helping me. So this uh, punnet uh, square, uh, this punnet square is the one that I'm going to use uh, to go and address my question. The question is, two integers, that is x and y, are selected at random from integers uh, 1 to 8. If the same integers uh, may be selected twice, find the probability that uh, the probability that uh, x minus y absolute is equal to 2 and x minus y absolute is equal to 5 or more and also the probability that x is always greater than uh, y. And therefore, as far as this question is concerned, I'm going to uh, to use the punnet square which I have already uh, come up uh, with uh, so that I can show you on how you are supposed to uh, work with. So I'm going to go to the first one, that is the probability that uh, absolute that is x minus y absolute like that uh, is equal to 2 uh, is equal to 2 uh, I can put a uh, is equal to 2 inside is equals to 2 and I close the bracket what is the probability of that and as far as uh, the word absolute you can see that these straight uh, vertical lines means absolute i'm supposed to assume the negative sign and therefore as far as this question is concerned you can see that uh, there is a negative two here there is a negative two another 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 negative two how many are they uh, what about positive two we have a positive two here positive two positive 2, positive 2, positive 2, positive 2. And as far as absolute uh, figure is concerned, we assume the negative signs and therefore you treat negative 2 as 2. And therefore, what is the total number of 2s as far as our results are concerned? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you have to calculate all the positives and the negatives. And therefore, how many are they? They are supposed to be 12. Uh, how many are they? They are supposed to be uh, the favorable outcomes are 12. Uh, we have 12 out of uh, this uh, punnet, uh, this uh, punnet square. Uh, if you count uh, the black uh, results, all of them, uh, they are supposed to uh, add up to 64 because they are, it is supposed to be 8, uh, 8, you multiply by 8. So this is 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What about here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8, you multiply by 8, you will get the total possible outcome being 64. And therefore, as far as absolute, the sum of, uh, the, the, not the sum, uh, x minus y absolute is equals to 2, uh, the absolute uh, uh, of x minus y being 2, it's supposed to be 12, uh, 12 the total possible uh, uh, outcome, the total possible favorable outcome is 12, because there are two 12s. What about, you're supposed to divide by the, uh, the total possible outcome, which is supposed to be 64. And therefore, in your calculator, uh, you're going to put a uh, 12, you divide by 64. And therefore, once you divide, you'll get 3 of, uh, over 16. And therefore, the answer to that becomes 3 over 16. That is the first part of the question. That is Roman 1. What about Roman 2? Roman 2, uh, you are supposed to get the probability of x minus y absolute uh, is equals to 5 uh, or more. So you can write it this way. 5 is equals to uh, 5 or more. And what is the answer to it? What is the probability of that? Uh, the probability of that, you're supposed to get the values where we have uh, the 5, uh, the five, whether they are negatives or the, the negative 5, a, a, a value which is greater than 5, absolute. Uh, and therefore, you are supposed to get uh, the values where the 5 is. So uh, from here, you can see here we have 5. Uh, this portion, actually, this portion at the farthest corner here, uh, that is one of the results. And also, we, you come to the positive sides where we have 5 and a value more than 5. So we have two regions here. So we have the positive side and also the negative side. And therefore, you're supposed to calculate all the numbers which are found there. Uh, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As far as the negatives are concerned, they are 6. 
uh, values which are uh, which are equal to five or greater than five. Uh, what about uh, the other side? Also one, two, three, four, five, six. They are six, and therefore you will get uh, the negatives are supposed to be six, and the positives they are supposed to be six. But the total uh, probability, uh, the total outcome, possible outcome, should be uh, sixty-four. And the same case applies. You will end up getting twelve over sixty-four, and by simplification, you are supposed to get three out of uh, 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 sixteen. Uh, what about the the last one? The last one uh, that is uh, the value whereby x is greater. The probability of x is greater than y, and therefore, as far as this one is concerned, you are supposed to get the positive values which are more than one. And therefore, in our results here, in our results here, uh, you can see the values which are more than one. It is start. It starts from one here and below, and therefore, the entire region. This the entire region will give us the answers uh, for that particular question. So the entire region, this one, the ones which I have encircled, will give the answer to that one. And therefore, as far as this one is concerned, we are not going to consider the negative because there is no signs for absolute. And therefore, I'm supposed to calculate all the results as far as the region encircled is concerned. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And therefore, as far as that one is concerned, I'm going to write a 28 out of 64. And if I put in on my calculator, uh, I am supposed to get uh, the value being 7 over 16. And therefore, simplification is 7 over 16, and that uh, becomes uh, the answer to uh, my question. Uh, so if I can uh, have a, br uh, a very uh, brief uh, review of what I have already covered. Uh, you, uh, The question is, you find the probability that uh, uh, x minus y absolute is equal to 2, and also the, uh, the probability that x minus y is uh, equal to 5 or more than 5, and finally x minus y is greater than y. And therefore, uh, what you're you are expected to do. You are supposed to come up with uh, this punet square, and after answering or filling in the punet square, you use the punet square to come up with your results. As you can see, they are well, well illustrated on the whiteboard. So uh, we are going to go to question uh, number two. Uh, question number two. And as far as question number two uh, is concerned, as far as uh, question number two is concerned, the question is a die is uh, biased so that uh, when tossed, the probability of a given number uh, showing up is given by a uh, probability of R uh, is equal to uh, KR, where K is a constant and uh, uh, R is, uh, the, they are the integers. That is number one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, the numbers uh, of the faces. Uh, of on the die on the faces of the die then find the value of k and as far as that question is concerned you're supposed to do it this way you say the probability of r is equals to kr and therefore the probability of number one is supposed to be one k because one one you multiply by k you will get one the probability of number two you are supposed to get two k the probability of number three you're supposed to get uh, uh, 3k. The probability of number 4, you're supposed to get uh, 4k. The probability of number 5, you're supposed to get uh, 5k. The probability uh, of the probability uh, probability of number 6, you're supposed to get uh, 6k. Uh, and therefore, if you add all these k, uh, that is uh, from here, all these values from here, uh, the range, as I said uh, from the beginning, I said that if you take all of them, uh, you you say that 1k plus uh, 2k plus 3k plus 4k plus 5k plus 6k, you are supposed to get equal to 1 because the range ranges from a number, the, the value of k should be, uh, be uh, between... Um, uh, a value greater than zero, but less than one. And therefore, if you take all of them, you add all of them, you will get 21k uh, should give you one. And therefore, what is k? You divide by 21 on both sides, 21 on both sides, and therefore the k should be equal to 21. Uh, the k should be equal to, uh, sorry, should be uh, equal to one over 
21. So that is uh, the value. That is how you are supposed to get uh, for the value of k. Uh, what about, uh, you can see uh, it is well, well illustrated. Uh, you are supposed to know that the probability range, uh, it re always ranges from uh, 0, a value which is greater than 0, uh, to a value which is equal to 1 or less than 1. And therefore you uh, add all the k's. And after adding all the k's, you will get that the total number of k's is supposed to be 21k. And what about the range? Range is 1. And therefore you equate it to 1 uh, because the total probabilities of all outcomes should e be equal to 1. And therefore uh, you divide both sides by 21 and you will end up getting the value of k being uh, 1 over 21. Uh, finally, uh, we are going to look on to this. Uh, if the die is tossed twice, uh, what uh, the, uh, get the probability or calculate the probability that the total score is 11. And therefore, the total score being 11, uh, it is either the probability uh, of 5 and 6 or the probability of 6 and 5. That is the combination. And what is the probability of 5? Uh, what is the probability of 5? The probability of 5 is equal to uh, 5, you can see it is 5k, and therefore should be 5, you multiply by k, which is 1 over 21, and the answer is uh, 5 over 21. What about the probability of um, uh, 6? Uh, supposed to be 6, you multiply by 1 over 21, and the answer becomes uh, 6 over 21. And now I look for the probability of uh, 11, sum being 11, supposed to be the probability of 5 and 6, which is supposed to be 5, supposed to be 5 over 21, uh, times uh, 6 over 21. Then I add the probability of 6, so I start with 6, which is supposed to be 6 over 21, I multiply by uh, 5 over 21. And therefore, those are the answers. And therefore, what is the probability of the summation being 11? Uh, uh, I will take the calculator and I insert uh, the values. I will put a bracket. I put uh, 5 divided by 21. I multiply by 6. You divide by, uh, you divide, sorry. You divide by 21. Bracket. Then, or you add, uh, you open the bracket. Uh, 6, you divide by 21. Then you multiply by 5 you divide by 21. And what is the answer? The answer becomes 20 out of 147. And therefore, uh, 20 out of 147 becomes our final answer. That is uh, 20 all over uh, 147. And that is the total answer. And therefore, as far as that question is concerned, uh, that is exactly uh, what you are supposed to do. Uh, having said that, uh, uh, I have come to the end of today's lesson, and you can reach me. You can reach me through this number. I'll put my number here. You can use this number to reach me. That is a uh, positive uh, 254 uh, uh, 724 901. Six uh, thirty-nine. Uh, remember, this is uh, this is the Kenyan code uh, of my country, the code of my country. Then this is my number. Uh, therefore, you can reach me using this number. Uh, till next lesson. Uh, your presenter was Mr. Wanyoike. Bye bye.